What happened, Tony? And Mark and Catherine, this is how he got back home to San Diego. Well, he simply flew to TJ and then walked across the border back to San Diego. Tonight, he wants to know why he can travel to the U.S. on foot, but not by air. I'm happy to be home. Uh, finally in my own hometown, you know, where I was born and raised. You could see the relief on Kevin Aranaha's face and the faces of his parents and brothers who met him at the San Ysidro border crossing. For Kevin, it's been a long journey home. Uh, you see my bloodshot eyes, I'm still, I'm still going through it. It's uh, very tiring and it was very depressing. His journey began two days ago in Costa Rica, where the SDSU graduate just got his master's degree in international peace. He was at the Costa Rican airport ready to fly home when he found out he was on the U.S. government's no-fly list, which bans anyone considered a security risk from boarding a plane bound for the U.S. Kevin and his father spoke to FBI agents that day and say they didn't explain exactly why Kevin was on the list. Because I purchased a ticket for him, None of this makes sense. Whoever did this is not America. I'd like to know why they did that. A spokesperson for the Terrorist Screening Center, the agency that compiles the no-fly list, says they cannot release any information about any individual cases. Since being denied access on a U.S.-bound plane, Kevin had to wait and get on a flight from Costa Rica to the Tijuana airport. From there, he was able to cross the border on foot back into the U.S. These are basically the only clothes I had. Despite what he went through, Kevin says he will always love the country where he was born and raised. We, we have so many freedoms here that, you know, you don't, you don't get everywhere else. Now, Kevin says while he was in Costa Rica, FBI agents questioned him about his recent travels to the Middle East, including Iran, where he says he was visiting family. Meantime, Tonight, it's still unclear if he plans on taking any legal action against the U.S. government. Reporting live at the border, I'm Tony Shin, NBC7, San Diego.